Good day to you, Apo. I want to believe you are doing wonderfully well. We want to continue from where we stopped in the revision lesson. And in today's class, we'll be looking at profit and loss. Profit and loss. And the objective we have are you should be able to, to, able to solve questions involving profit and gain. Profit or gain. You can either see it as profit or see it as gain. Then you should also be able to solve questions involving loss. And uh, lastly, you should be able to solve questions involving percentage gain and uh, loss. Okay, once you understand that, what then do we call profit? What is loss? Or what is profit? What is loss? Profit or loss is associated with trading. Those people that are engaged in one business or the other, selling and buying, they deal with profit and loss. And uh, what is then the profit? Profit occurs when the selling price is more than the cost price. When the selling price is more than the cost price, you say such a person has made a uh, profit. And then uh, we have the formula for profit to be selling price minus cost price. In each case, you should always get positive. You don't get negative answer. So that means you are subtracting the smaller amount from the bigger amount. So when the selling price is higher than the cost price, we subtract cost price from the selling price, and that simply means such a person has made profit. Coming down to loss, loss occurs when the selling price is more than the cost price. When the selling price is more than the cost price, we have loss, and then to calculate loss, we say cost price minus selling price, because in this case, selling price is smaller, so we are subtracting it from the cost price. And then now have move down to the percentage gain or loss. So the calculation of percentage gain or loss is very, very simple. And what is the formula? We have the formula for calculating percentage profit or gain to be your gain. You know, gain is the same as selling price minus cost price. So this one can be written as profit over cost price. That is what we mean by selling price minus cost price. Then multiply by 100. Okay, for the case of percentage loss, your percentage loss is the same as cost price minus selling price. In this case, selling price is less than the cost price, so we can say this is the same as loss. So we can also have this one written as loss over cost price times 100. It is a simple formula for percentage loss. Once you understand that, let's have one or two examples on this. The example one here is saying an article that cost 370 naira was sold at a loss of 14 percent. An article that cost 370 naira was lost was sold at a loss of 14 percent. What is the selling price? If the article cost this, write out the parameters. You say the cost price is equal to. 370 naira. And the loss was sold at a loss of 14 percent. Percentage loss is equal to 14 percent. What is then the selling price? Of course, we have the formula that says percentage loss. is equal to loss over cost price times 100 over 1. So we have our loss percent to be 14. So we have 14 is equal to what is the loss? It's an article that, was, that cost 370 was sold at, so we don't know the loss. Let's say the loss is x over the cost price is what? 370. Then times 1 on from here now when we cross multiply we can have 14 is equal to 14 over 1 is equal to x times 100 will give us 100 x over 370. Then here you cross multiply. And when you cross multiply what do you have? You have 100 x is equal to 370 times 14. Of course your x will now give you 370 times 14 divided by 100. Whatever thing you get here as your x is representing the loss. But the question says, what is the selling 
price. So your, your x now, you are subtracting it from the cost price. Cost price minus selling price will give us the loss. But we have gotten the value of our loss as x. So subtracting this x now from 370 will determine what the selling price uh, is. Then looking at example 2, a dealer bought a car at 500,000 and sold it for 600,000. A dealer bought a car at 500,000, so that means the cost price of the car is 500,000. Why the selling price is equal to 600,000? Of course, at this point now you agree with me that the selling price is higher than the cost price. So such a person, the dealer, such a dealer has made profit. So we can say profit is equal to 600,000 minus 500,000. And this will give us 100,000 as our profit. But the question says calculate the percentage gain. So what is the percentage gain? We have the formula saying percentage gain is equal to gain or profit. Now, what is our gain? 100,000 over cost price. What is the cost price? Cost price is 500,000. Then times 100 over 1. Of course, you agree with me that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will cancel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are left with 100 over 5. And 100 over 5 should give us 20. So that simply means such a person had made a profit of 40 percent is equal to 20 percent. So with this few examples, I want to believe that you can recall all you've been taught as far as loss and profit is concerned. Other examples will be sent to you via the Google uh, Classroom. And I want you to be free to ask as many as possible questions you want to ask based on this video. See you in the next class. Bye.